Hi guys, I'm Casper Law, and uh, in 2009 I did a cross-country bike ride for Down Syndrome. I did the largest national uh, fundraiser ever for uh, Down Syndrome. I made a website called peacebethejourney.ca, made a Facebook group, started blogging. I grew up with my cousin who has Down Syndrome, and he's the inspiration for the trip, and then along the way everybody I meet they've overcome you know huge obstacles and they have to deal with lack of funding and a lack of education and the parents are you know trying so hard and they form little groups so you know I, I always said the kids are the heroes because the kids are doing amazing things so my idea was I'm a normal guy on a bike doing something for the superheroes Well, it was, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. My mother's always been really supportive, and she knows, um, she calls me a free spirit, you know, it's, and she said I should go backpack through Europe, and so that was a kind of idea, and I thought, well, why go to Europe when I haven't seen a lot of my own country? So I wanted to see Canada for what it was, and there's no better way than on a bike. The physical challenge it was no big deal, it's a bike ride. A little bit windy, a little bit cold, wet, <laughs> keep going. Uh, as soon as it happened, I thought, wow, I have to go to work. <laughs> um, I was told yesterday that I had some kind of interview thing, and I was kind of thrown for a loop, and then I drive a van all day, which I hate, because I've offered to do it on a bike, but a van holds a lot more water than a bike. And uh, I think way too much. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, there's no way they'd call for an interview you know, a year and a half afterwards. So I, uh, I confronted my mother. And I asked her why she was lying to me. And I didn't bring anything specific up, so she didn't, she kept going with it. It was really good. I'd try to do it again and do it on a larger scale. I'd like to get in contact with all the smaller branches and the large uh, Canadian Down Syndrome Society. Try and get them to work together. Give out red suits to everybody. <laughs> Make an army of genies. <laughs> um, no, I think uh, th this is a great opportunity um, because that's the same idea. The mask and that's why I wore the helmet the entire way. I never took it off. I tried to do interviews with it. I did. Uh, I rappelled down a building for Easter Seals and I tried to keep with that's the superhero thing. And it was not a story focused on me. It was a story focused on the kids. I was just trying to create a medium and trying to get people to... to you know, look, point their attention at the kids and at the families that are doing this. One wish from a genie to fix the world. Man, I don't know. Let's uh, since I'm a bike rider, let's get a, let's get rid of cars. They always try to run me over. So, yeah, better transportation systems, less uh, less damage to the ozone layer, fitter people. Yeah, let's get rid of cars. <laughs> the car the car showed up today the, the car showed up today and i wanted a bike i was like where's where, where's my fancy rims on the bike right <laughs> Wrong.